what is our political strategy, uh, say, following the fall of Raqqa, that would s lead us to have a belief that there's going to be a, a better uh, next chapter to follow in Syria, especially? Senator, I'm not sure I can comment uh, on on what the political uh, what the political strategy is. I, I do believe this is a key aspect of what uh, the Secretary Mattis and the administration are discussing right now with respect to what this uh, what this looks like long term. And General Votel, I think that's a good answer. You you're not commenting because the political strategy is really for the political leadership, not the military leadership, the administration, and Congress. And uh, you, you understand that Congress has a role in this as well, not just the administration. I, I do, Senator. We are, we are pursuing a war now based on an authorization that was passed in September of 2001. It's now you know, nearly 16 years old. Do you think it would be helpful in terms of articulating a political strategy that would put the military mission into a context and to find an end result in a potential desired future state if Congress were to grapple with the question <clears throat> of the authorities and the and the the this desired end political strategy. Senator, I, I think the, the current AUMF is, is 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 has provided what we needed, but I do believe an updated uh, an updated authorization certainly would send a stronger commitment to the uniformed military uh, that of our of our commitment and desire in, to support them. In the CENTCOM space, if we, the military mission succeeds and Raqqa were to fall do you still believe that the American mission against ISIL and al-Qaeda will take a long time? I, 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 I do. I think we, uh, uh, this is a very savvy enemy, and they are adapting, like we are adapting on the battlefield, they are adapting Just on the like battlefield. like the ISIL attack in, in right. Afghanistan, so, dressed as doctors, attacking the hospital. This is a threat that's not going away just because Raqqa were to fall, correct? That's right. I, they will begin to uh, adopt other forms, and we will need to be persistent against that, and we will need to work with our partners to address that in both Iraq and Syria. Well, my colleagues know, because I've said it a lot and others view it the same way, that this question of authorities, I do think it's past time for Congress to address it. Whether you think the 9-1401 AUMF legally covers the battle against ISIL or not, um, I think there's prudent reasons at a minimum, and I think legal reasons as well that we should tackle it. On the question of legal authorities, traditionally you need, you need two kinds of legal authorities to be engaged in a military mission. You, you need a domestic legal authority and you need an international legal justification as well. The most common international legal justification for military action in somebody else's territory is that they invited you. We're conducting military actions in Iraq with these request and support of the Iraqi government. We're conducting military operations in Afghanistan with the support and request of the Iraqi government. We just uh, conducted a DOD ground operation for the first time in Yemen with the request and support of the Yemeni government. Are we deploying Marines in Syria at the request or with the permission of the Syrian government? We are not, Senator. What is the international legal justification for the U.S. taking military action in another country without the request of that country. We've criticized nations such as Russia, for example, for undertaking military actions in the Ukraine or Crimea without the request of the government. Uh, thank you, Senator. I, I think uh, we, we certainly make a, a judgment about the ability of the government to make a, a decision in that case. I think in what we are doing in Syria, we are looking at that as an extension of the, uh, of the authority uh, to operate from, from Iraq. Ir Iraq has had us in and we're cooperating with Iraq. We're there in Iraq at their request. But, but I guess the bottom line is there is no such request from Syria. We don't judge that, cap that government capable of making such a request. We don't really recognize the legitimacy of Bashar al-Assad's government. But um, you are saying that the international legal justification for American military action in a country that hasn't asked us is the fact that we're engaged in a military action in a country next door that has asked us? I, I, I believe we extend. Uh, we are we are we are being extended that authority by uh, by our leadership to, to conduct those operations, principally because we are operating against an enemy that operates on both sides of that uh, of that border. If I might.